Hello friends, in this video we will see how we can read a, a local JSON file in Angular. So whenever we want to show some static data in our app, we don't need to call it from server, we can store it in JSON file and we can read it into the app. So at first uh, uh, you can see here I have a default boilerplate of Angular generated from the CLI command and at first I am going to uh, create, uh, create a, a dummy list of files. I'll create a li list of uh, countries and which I'll show into the template. So here I'm just copying this value. Just copy it here. Now since the data is available into the, into the app, so I'll call it into a component file. So I'll import uh, countries from the path files countries dot json now i'll define the variable so country list enter array object and object will hold name of type string is the country name and code of type string the country code which is available in our json file and the value will be assigned to countries okay so I think we have we're done with the uh, task in this file and here you can see this now uh, array, array is coming over the import line so this error is coming because the angular doesn't recognize a json file and it can't read json file by, by default so we need to enable this in our angular app so for that uh, we need to create a file and the name of the file will be uh, json type i typing dot d dot ts just name the file as it is no need to do anything with it and just copy this code and put it don't need to go inside this code it's just enabling the json format files to read into, into our application nothing else so nothing uh, needed to go inside the things so now uh, i we are done with the uh, the uh, the task at the logical part now we have to bind this data Meanwhile, I am starting the app also so that it will compile in meanwhile. So now I'll bind the data here. So div and inside uh, let's say um, I'm taking p tag. Okay. And here I'll I take the value and g4 let item of control list is the variable name in the component so now i will bind the data it will be item dot name the name of the country and uh, item dot code i think uh, that's it for now uh, we are done with all the stuff needed so let's check the app so you can see you can see our app has been compiled now if you run the app in 4200 you can see we have list of the countries and here we have code, the name and code so this way we can use a uh, json file locally into into our angular app okay that's it for now thanks for watching this video